Chuck from Mortadella Head. And today, we are gonna make the world's best Italian sub. Okay, this is what we're gonna be using today. We have some mortadella, some salami, some capicola, some ham. We have some sliced provolone cheese, some nice sliced red onions. We're putting some pickles on. People are gonna get mad at the pickles. We're putting lettuce on an Italian sub. Some people are gonna get irate when they see that. Boston people get so mad. You I don't know, like, everyone, I don't want, yeah, but, I don't but everywhere else you see, well, people like lettuce. Not red out, but. Listen, we're gonna make this sub today so nice. Everyone's gonna love it. In the tomato, and we have some salt, some pepper, we got some oregano, olive oil, and we have a beautiful vinaigrette that we make here. Okay, first we're gonna take this nice, beautiful sub roll that we just took out of the oven a few minutes ago. We're gonna slice it open. Okay, so we are about to start the construction of the Italian sub. It's very important that you follow some simple steps to make sure you have the best sub you can have. So the first thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna lightly oil the bottom. Now, we're gonna season this bottom half of the sub roll with some salt, a little bit of pepper, and why not a little bit of oregano too? Just a little bit, let the flavors Stop melding together. Next up is the cheese. So we have some nice sliced provolone. I mentioned that before. And we're gonna shingle the cheese. We wanna make sure that whoever eats this sub gets a nice piece of cheese with every bite. So when you overlap it, there's no room for error. Everybody's gonna get every bite. Next up, we're gonna put some nice thinly sliced ham on this sub. Now some people might say, ham does not belong on an Italian sub. But don't say that until you've had it because I'll tell you right now, this actually adds a whole nother dimension to this sub. You got that nice, sweet, porky, beautiful ham. Now we're gonna put in our mortadella. There's a certain technique when you put the mortadella in, make sure you put it in and kind of like fluff it up. Just don't lay it down. We want it to be high. We're trying to build, we're building this up here. We're not just slapping it together. See how we do that? See how we kind of give it like a little technique and a little fold over like that? See how it's raised up, it looks beautiful. Now we're gonna add a capicola to this thing. All right, right on top of the mortadella. See that? Another, another shingle technique. Make sure that every bite of this sandwich gets a little capicola. Now up to Genoa salami. Here we go. One slice, two slices, three slices, four, five, six with the shingle. Okay, now comes the bone of contention for a lot of people out there. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people on Facebook that are anti lettuce on an Italian sub. They're not afraid to let you know that. So we got the lettuce. Now, before we take the next step, I think it's important to season the lettuce. So here we go again, a little salt, a little pepper, to layer those flavors, and a little bit of oregano on there. And before we do anything else, we're gonna take that beautiful red wine vinaigrette that we make and we're gonna drizzle it over the lettuce so the lettuce soaks it up. So it's almost like you have a beautiful little salad in the middle of your Italian sub. Now, get yourself a tomato. You gotta saw it. I'm using a serrated knife right now and I'm using the saw, the tomato saw technique. All right, let's add our sliced tomatoes to this sub. Once again, it's important to shingle Shingle your slices. We're gonna season the tomato with a little salt and a little pepper. Next up, just a little bit of red onion. I don't like too many, I just like a just like a hint of the red onion flavor. Always red onions. I think that's a little bit nicer, a little fancier. Okay, get yourself a nice, nice pickle. See these pickles here? These pickles, you can still you can still see the dill attached to these pickles. We're not using any old cheap pickle here. We're using some big money pickles. So you can, and you'll know when you taste it, what I'm talking about. We have two more things we're gonna put on here that we forgot to mention before. So we have these beautiful sliced banana pepper rings. These are gonna go right on top here. Look at that nice yellow color. These are gonna add a nice little zip. A little bit of heat, not too much. It's gonna bring the whole sandwich together. We have these beautiful roasted red peppers. We marinate these in-house. Some garlic, some parsley, olive oil. It's 
salt, pepper. Look at how nice that red color is right there. How beautiful is that? I'm gonna take that nice vinaigrette that we talked about before. We're just gonna do one last drizzle over the top. Get that nice vinegary flavor throughout the whole sandwich. And then we're gonna do a little bit more olive oil. Hold on, we're not done. Some oregano. Take the oregano. Pinch it between your fingers. Let the oil go. So you get that real nice oregano flavor in there. Now, take your top of your sub roll, cover it up. Look at that. Tell me, that's not a nice sandwich right there? Look at that. Who's making subs like that? Anybody else? We're gonna try this thing now. Ready? You gonna cut it first? I'm gonna cut it, yeah. Yeah, cut it. All right, let's get ready to cut this thing. Put my hat on backwards. I need, to, I need complete focus. I don't want this thing to break. All right, here we go. All right, here's the reveal. How's it look? Whoa. Does it look stacked like it's supposed to? What do you think? I think it's gonna look nice. Okay, now we're gonna do a taste test. Not just me, we're the expert here. Yeah. You always like to give opinions on things. Am I the expert? You're the expert, so let's go. Let's see what you think. I think you take the bite first. You let me know if this is up. It, it feels like a well balanced sandwich, I gotta say. Let me know if it's a brahma or Italian stuff. I'll tell you right now. Very well seasoned. Well seasoned? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Let me let me try it now. I'm going to say it's good no matter what I made it, right? No, right. But it's good. I would ordinarily, you know how I like to knock it down? Yeah. This is good. The ham, you can taste the ham comes in the back door. The ham is nice. You taste the ham at the end. Yeah, the ham got you at the end, but the seasoning. Throughout the whole way, you can tell that it was properly seasoned, right? Yes. You can tell that. There's layers and layers of flavor in here. So, I'd love somebody to make one of these at home and tell me if the seasoning technique makes you a better sandwich maker. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your family thinks. But in the meantime, please subscribe to our channel. Subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, like. Like. Comment. Yep. Tell gonna, your friends. Yep. Tell your family. We're gonna even have a we're gonna have a blog post on how to make a proper Italian sub. Read it. Thanks for watching. That's it. Tell it. Make it nice.